Welcome to the UK Biobank Cardiac Monitoring Study. You've opted to participate in UK Biobank's Cardiac Monitoring Study. This video will walk you through the process of setting up your monitor and tell you more about what to expect during the monitoring study. The Body Guardian Mini Heart Monitor should be worn for 14 days. Please do not discard the box as you'll need it to return the monitor to us. Guidance about how to apply your heart monitor and answers to some frequently asked questions were given to you with the monitor. The Body Guardian Mini is a heart monitor that continuously records every single heartbeat while you live your life. It can and should be worn during all normal daily activities, including showering, sleeping, bathing, and during exercise. However, it should not be submerged in water deeper than three feet and cannot be worn while undergoing an MRI. As part of your study, you should have received the Body Guardian Mini box with a participant instruction manual enclosed. Be sure to keep it handy. Please ensure all contents pictured on the participant instruction manual were provided, including one monitor, optional monitor, charging lead, three strips, three saline wipes, preparation razor. Now let's go through the instructions on how to charge your Body Guardian Mini monitor. If you've been given a charger, Please charge the monitor before first applying it. Plug the monitor into the charging lead. Ensure the other end is plugged into a power outlet. The blue light on the monitor blinks while charging. The blue light remains lit once fully charged. Charging time can take up to two hours. Now let's look at preparing your skin. Remove any hair where you'll place the monitor. Use either the enclosed saline wipe or soap and water to clean the area. Dry the area completely. Do not apply lotions, oils, or perfumes. Do not use alcohol wipes. Do not abrade the skin. Now let's take you through the steps to attach the monitor to the strip. Slide the monitor into the black molding until the micro USB connector on the strip is inserted completely into the monitor. This is most easily accomplished on a flat surface like a table. To line up the micro USB connector with the port on the monitor, you may need to wiggle the monitor slightly to align. To ensure a good connection, pinch together with thumb and index finger. Hold the monitor and strip assembly by the monitor. Then peel away the strip's adhesive backing. The backing is removed in two separate pieces by peeling back the tabs. Then place the strip and monitor flat on your chest vertically. Press around the surface of the strip against the skin to ensure the strip adheres to the skin. Apply only to intact, clean skin. Do not apply over open wounds, lesions, infected or inflamed areas. Do not wrinkle the strip and do not pin the strip to bra or clothing. If the strip becomes damaged, then please remove it and use a new strip. The strip is not repositionable, so it's important to place the strip as accurately as possible. Once the strip makes contact with your skin, you cannot adjust its position. Place the top of the strip just below the jugular notch, which is the bone at the base of the neck where the collarbone meets. Ensure the arrow in the middle of the strip of your chest is pointing up. Do not place the strip too far to the right or too low. Do not place the strip too far to the left or too low. Now let's look at turning on the monitor. Press and release the center button on the monitor once. As the monitor successfully powers on and contact between the strip and your skin is satisfactory, the monitor makes a quick series of three rising beeps and the green light blinks every five seconds. You're successfully monitoring. In order to tell if the monitor is on, you can check the visual indicator. When the monitor is on and collecting ECG data, the green LED light on the monitor will blink every five seconds. The monitor is designed to be unobtrusive, so the lights are faint. They can be best detected in a dark or dimly lit room. There's also an audible indicator. If you cannot detect the blinking green LED light on the monitor, press and release the center button. While the Body Guardian Mini Strip adhesive patch is designed to last, on certain individuals, the wear duration could be shorter. If the patch is not sticking well, change the strip when it no longer adheres to the skin. Strips are disposable. Remove the strip while showering or use a warm, damp cloth to blot while removing. For easiest removal, remove the monitor from the strip. Slowly peel back and roll the adhesive away from your chest, continually blotting with water. Reattach the monitor to a new strip, then apply the strip and device to your chest. 
Now let's look at the various monitor alerts. If you hear three rising beeps and a solid green light, this means the monitor is powering on. This occurs when the monitor button has been pushed. Monitoring will resume with no further action required. Three monotone beeps with no light. This means the monitor is powering off. This occurs when the monitor button has been pressed and held for three seconds. If there's no sound and a blinking green light, this means the Body Guardian Mini is monitoring successfully. If contact between the strip and your skin is not satisfactory, the monitor alerts you with two beeps every second. If this occurs, one, power off the monitor by pressing and holding the center button on the monitor for three seconds. The monitor makes three monotone beeps as it powers off. Two, revisit the previous steps to ensure that the monitor is securely attached to the strip and Body Guardian Mini is properly placed and securely adhered to your chest. Now let's look at what to do if the red light starts to flash during your monitoring session. If you see two red flashes every five seconds, this means the Body Guardian Mini has not detected good contact with your skin. The monitor will start beeping after eight hours of not detecting good contact. Ensure the monitor is securely attached to the strip and the Body Guardian Mini is properly placed and securely adhered to your chest. If the monitor continues to flash, remove the strip, use a new strip, and repeat the setup steps. Let's look at what to do when your study concludes. Remove the Body Guardian Mini as soon as your monitoring session ends. Turn off the monitor by pressing and holding the center button for three seconds until you hear three monotone beeps. Place the powered off monitor into the plastic case provided, then into the original postage paid box together with any unopened strips. If applicable, place the charging lead into its separate box. Do not include any information about yourself when you return the monitor to us. Remove the adhesive strip from the flap on the shipping box and seal securely. The prepaid return label is already affixed to the box. The box can be posted into a post box. Do not affix any stamps. If the monitor has been lost or damaged, please report it to the Participant Resource Center by calling 0800 0276 276. If you have any further questions, please telephone the UK Biobank Participant Resource Centre free of charge on 0800 0276 276, Monday through Friday, 9am to 5pm, or email ukbiobank at ukbiobank.ac.uk. General information can be found at www.ukbiobank.ac.uk forward slash heart dash monitor. <laughs>